Now that we've pointed out how to use a multimeter, let's look specifically at a Romeca motorized pulley terminal box. This box has obviously been disconnected from the motorized pulley and is not connected to an electrical power source. First, we would unscrew the four fasteners on the cover using an Allen wrench. Take off the cover. Now that we've removed the cover, we can look more closely at the configuration of the terminal board. Notice that the three phases of power are connected as follows. Phase one is connected to terminal U, phase two is connected to terminal V, and phase three is connected to terminal W. These leads are colored black, white, and red in this example. Also notice that terminals T1 and T2 are, are to be connected to a normally closed control circuit. And in this example, the leads are colored brown and blue. How do we measure the current flowing to the motor? We use a clamp meter. We set it to position A to measure amps and we simply put the clamp meter around the conductor as shown. That would measure phase one. This would measure the current in phase two. And this would measure the current flowing in phase three. Here is how to measure the resistance in each of the three phases of the motor and Here's how to measure the resistance across the three bimetallic thermal protection switches. First, we need to disconnect the conductors after, of course, shutting off the power supply. We disconnect the conductors using an electric screwdriver. We recommend an electric screwdriver so as to minimize the torque. Once we have disconnected the conductors, then it is possible to measure the resistance as follows. We set the probes between U and V to check the resistance in phase one, V and W to check the resistance in phase two, and U and W to check the resistance in phase three. To check the resistance across the thermal protection switches, we put the probes across terminals T1 and T2. To check the resistance between a phase and ground, we put the probes as follows, between U and the ground lug, V and the ground lug, W and the ground lug. And here is how you check the resistance to ground between the thermal protection switch and ground. Touch the probe to T1 and the ground probe. And that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more informative tutorials, go to our website, RomecaCorp.com, or please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.